Hi, this is Tom Callos. I'm outdoors <laughs> in Placerville, California, on the back part of my property. It's an appropriate place to talk. It's quiet, uh, except for a couple cows, and uh, it's a nice sunny day, and I like being outdoors, and uh, the lighting is good. So here we go. This is a business meeting for members of the 100, and some of the parts of this meeting I may share with the general martial arts community. You can always reach the main body of our work at uh, the100.me, which takes you right to our members-only uh, online campus. So first, uh, in the 100, it's kind of like uh, teaching martial arts and having sparring matches. You can teach theoretically, like what if this happens or what if that happens, but it, when you teach sparring and it's actually happening, you can stop and say, okay, now when he does this, you're going to do this. And so it really addresses an issue it's happening in the moment and not theoretically, right? So that's what the 100, uh, our online campus allows me to do. Instead of me, like I used to do for so many years, just teach things I thought you needed, and now with our members, I can uh, address real issues. So let's address some issues right now that 100 members are actually dealing with in their the sparring match of their business. Uh, one member I talked to struggling a little bit with the school. I talked to him today. He's not keeping attendance. Well, if you don't keep attendance on a weekly basis, if you don't what, do what I call uh, the 52-week card count, meaning that you go through your student body represented by attendance cards every week of the year, 52 weeks a year, give or take a couple for holidays, then you're dealing reactionary. You're dealing in a reactionary fashion with people who aren't showing up. DNS calls, you know, did not show, missing in action. Those are too late. Your job, if at all possible is to avoid those situations before they happen, to recognize who's going to drop out or who's going to need extra help, who's becoming discouraged, and work with them preemptively. Right? You put your A's over here on the desk, you know, your A students, you got your B's in the middle, and the ones that you're worried about are over here on the side, those are the ones you work with first. And it's not doing that once in a while, it's doing it 52 weeks a year. Uh, once you've gone through those cards for about 10 weeks, you know everything about the student. You can have all kinds of codes on the card to determine where the student is at. It's the second best thing to having them actually standing right there and talking to you. Uh, do they have a full equipment package? What program on are, are they on? Do we know their parents or their significant others? I mean, because that's a factor in the long-term retention of a student, right? Being a part of their family, do you know them? When was the last time they test? And how is their attendance? And is there anything that we can do with a student? to better serve them. 52 weeks a year give you time to methodically sift through your student body and find problems before they become problems. If you're not doing attendance, you get down right now and you give me five push-ups, all right? Because you're hurting yourself and that's very, very expensive, that mistake.